Hello everybody, it's nana 9 Korea here. Welcome to the second video of Flood Escape Remake. This time we will be doing the medium maps. And I guess I'm actually surprised I found something. Medium is harder than the hard difficulty. Don't believe me? There's a certain three levels that's been kinda meh. But anyway. The rules are in the first video, because I really can't be asked to actually edit it in, so, yeah. Anyway, let's begin. Room 1. Locked in. Go on the box and go through this wooden beam and press the first button. Go past the doorway and go straight for the second button, which is right here. After that, turn around and go on this box and then go on this platform. The third button will be on this box. Press it, turn around, and go to this brand new beam. You will now see the escaped vent. Press the fourth button. Then go straight for the green button, and then go all the way around and escape. And that's how you beat Locked In. Quality check. The first button is literally right in front of you. Go to this open pathway and press the second button. Go up here, turn right, and press the third button. Go up here, go through this way, and press the fourth button. Now turn around and climb up the truss. Press the 5th button, and go all the way back to where the 4th button is, but go to the left. Press the 6th button, and jump towards the escape vent. Now press the green button, and escape. And that's how you beat Quality Check. Shaken Up. There is only one button in this stage, and it's right here. After pressing it, you can now escape, but you've got to do a little tiny maneuver. When you're on top of the vent, go sideways, then press A, and when you're falling, hold D. This is a very tricky maneuver, and that's how you beat Shaken Up. Tool Start. Don't fall off, and press the first button. After pressing it, fall off, and climb this truss. Do some simple jumps and press the second button. Turn around, do those jumps again, and go towards the third button. Now turn around again, go all the way to where the second button is, and walk across here. The fourth button will be inside here, and do some jumps towards the screen button. After pressing it, turn around and climb the truss here. Now the water will now be in your way, so please be quick. And that's how you beat Tool Start. Walkway. Go towards these boxes and turn right. And here is the magnificent walkway. At the end, you'll see the blue button and press it and turn around. Go on the railing of the walkway and go on this spawned platform. Turn left because turning right doesn't really do anything. And go towards the green button, press it and escape. And that's how you beat Walkway. Divided Paths. Find a way up towards the stone truss. Climb them, then turn left. Uh, okay, okay, I'll just do that. No idea why I've done that, but anyway. Go towards the vent and turn right. You will now see the green button, press it, turn around and escape. And that's how you beat Divided Paths. No, it's broken. Anyway, climb this truss, do some jumps and press the first button. Jump down and climb this truss. Jump off it onto the wooden platform and keep going in this direction. Past the escape vent, press the green button, turn around and escape. And that's how you beat Elevator machine broke. Room 2. 
Maintenance. Try and go up through boxes and or truss. Keep hugging the wall in this direction and walk all the way until you get to the green button and then press it. After pressing it, I jump down and climb this truss, turn right and escape. And that's how you beat maintenance. Unknown order. The first button is on your left, then you have to proceed with the unknown order. Let me stop the footage right here, and here is the correct order. Alright? Alright. After pressing the 6th button, go to the 5th button and follow this path. And that's it. That's how you beat Unknown Order. Extended Vent. Walk all the way across and jump out of the vent. Then drop down and walk towards the first button. After that, climb this truss and walk back to the opening of the vent, but go to the left and press the second button. Now a wooden beam will appear, walk on it, go past the truss and follow this path. Now you see the green button, press it and escape. And that's how you beat extended vent. Rushing pulse. The first button will be back of the room on your left. After that, Jump on this box, then jump on the platform. Jump on the platform. Oh boy. And, and, and I died. Are you kidding? Come on. I know it's possible. Ugh. I don't need the gravity coil. I don't need the gravity coil. Ugh. You saw nothing. Turn right, and you'll see the second button. Press it. Walk up this metal beam. And keep following this path until... Oh, come on! <coughs> After pressing the second button, keep following this path. Press the green button, turn around, and escape. And that's how you beat Rushing Pulse. This level fucking sucks. Pipeline. Climb on this truss, and turn around, and press the first button. After pressing it, jump down, and re-climb up. But go over here instead. Now press the green button over here, now turn around, and don't fall off. There you go, and that's how you beat Pipeline. Vertigo. Climb up this pillar, and you have to do a specific kind of jump. Turn on shift lock, hold D, and when you're about to fall off, jump. And that's how you do it. Go around this pillar, press the first button, now climb it. Go around here to this pillar, go around it, climb it, and jump off it, and press the second button. Now jump to this pillar, climb it, walk across here, walk around, press the final button, and escape. And that's how you beat the dreaded Vertigo. Room 3. Unorganized chaos. Turn left and follow the red path all the way to the first button. Turn around and go through this open doorway. Now go to the green path and follow it. Jump to the truss, but don't climb it. Just drop down here and go to the blue path and follow it.
past the vent, press the green button, turn around and escape. And that's how you beat unorganized chaos. Red and blue. Turn around, jump on top of the vent, turn right, and in this direction, there's the first button. Drop down and walk to the second button. After pressing it, go all the way back to the first button because there's new platforms over there. Turn right and there's the third button. Turn around and climb on this truss. After climbing it, turn left, continue following this path, press the green button, turn around and escape. And that's how you beat Reliable Excavation Demolition and Builders League United. Storage Management. Climb this truss and jump on the boxes towards the first button. Drop down, climb this truss and start platforming. Some of these jumps are tricky, so be careful, but don't be slow either. Now you see the second button, press it and turn back and continue going this way. Now the green button is here, do a very tricky jump and jump back. Don't fall off and escape. And that's how you beat storage management. This is it. Go around here to the first button. Turn around, jump on this platform and jump on this and press the second button. Turn around, walk on the wooden beam, then press the third button. Now turn around again. Now go through that open doorway. Inside is the fourth button. Press it and keep going in this direction to get out. Walk up on that wooden beam again and drop down here. The fifth button is right here. Press it and get out. Now walk on this platform and climb the truss. Turn right and keep going in this direction. Press the green button. Turn around and keep going in this direction and escape. And that's how you beat This Is It. Overlook. Follow this wooden path towards the first button. After pressing it, turn around and walk on this wooden beam. Climb on this truss and press the second button. Jump down, walk on the wooden beam again and climb these trusses. Turn left and keep going this way until you press the third button. Turn around and keep going this way. Now do some kind of tricky jumps. Press the green button, turn around and escape. And that's how you beat Overlook. Now here are some failed, enjoy. <sighs> Fresh meat. And that's it. That's the second video done. Plus, I kind of need to hurry up because it's close to being the 10th and I don't want anything bad to happen, of course.
So, I got no time messing around talking here. But again, I will say a couple things as well. Thank you for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. As well, join my Discord server. And that's about it. Bye, have a great time.